Hello there, my name is James Line and I'm Chief Technology Officer at SANS Institute and the author of SANS Foundations, which I'm here to give you a brief walkthrough today. Uh, this is the SANS Foundations platform. It's the main screen where you can access all the modules in the course. And you can see here a huge number of different topics from how servers work to networking, common daemon configuration, programming, Windows, security topics. I mean, a, a huge number of different kind of base modules to study. Very exciting indeed. Uh, let me jump into a couple of these and show you a couple of the features of the platform and what your experience will be like. Uh, first, let's have a look in computer hardware here. Uh, you can see we have modules on the motherboard, the CPU, RAM, types of storage. Uh, actually, let's build a computer. This is a fun one. It brings together all of the individual sections before the different com computer components into a video streaming in the player here that actually has us build a computer from scratch and understand the role of each of the components, which is really valuable if you've never done that before. It really concretes your understanding of how computers function. Of course, players uh, here can be used at different speeds. You can go faster, you can go slower, you've got subtitles, and you can navigate through section by section, marking them off complete as you go. Of course, there are also quizzes, so you can test your understanding and validate that you've got the intent of the module before you move on. And you can take those quizzes again and again, and the module again and again, over the period of access to the platform to really make sure you've maximized your learning. But it's not just theory. This platform also provides you with the opportunity to get hands-on. There are lots of labs. For example, uh, if I click into this lab on folder structure here in the Linux basics, uh, I'm actually provided with a terminal and this connects you to your very own lab environment. And you can use this to test the concepts in the lab, to follow the instructions, uh, to step through, here we go, and be guided in the foundational use of Linux commands and programs. So this is pretty neat because you don't need a virtual machine. You can do it with a web browser. Uh, you can do it from a tablet, you can do it from a phone, although doing some of those labs would be mighty interesting on a small screen with a touch screen, but it's possible. And this is just a, a really wonderful way to put into practice what you're learning about in the modules. And of course, there's also written content, uh, nice explanations you can read, and audio modules so you can listen to narration of the content. And we highly recommend that people take the videos, read the content, listen to the audio, and try the labs. That kind of multi-modular approach to learning really helps you absorb the content. Jumping back up here, the lab system extends even further. Uh, we teach some fundamentals of programming, for example. And here we have a lab on pointers and memory in C. And this particular one here is a bit of a challenge lab. And we're, uh, we're given a system to be able to run a binary and a code editor where we can actually put in some C code if we want to, um, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's have a look at one that's a little easier, maybe one with variables or printing. Here we go. So here you can see the instructions on the program we're gonna build, uh, just building a Hello Foundations World program. Let's go in here and, whoa, use the right keyboard commands, paste some code in, we can save it, and we can actually jump over to our terminal and be able to execute that, uh, that program or, or compile it. So let's do GCC, whoa, output.c, out. So this provides you with kind of interaction and practice opportunities built right into the platform. It's the videos, the audio, the quizzes, the kind of lab system brought together that makes this a really enjoyable way to study the kind of foundations. You can jump backwards and forwards between different modules. And at any time, you can also provide us with your feedback and even highlight something that you found confusing or you think can be improved 
so that we drive continuous improvement of the course content to help learners like you. We know that students have found these capabilities and the experience invaluable in accelerating their understanding of the foundations and thus expediting their study of cybersecurity topics. And we hope that you'll find the platform as compelling in your own studies. Thanks for watching and looking forward to helping you study computers, technology, and security.